G major has a lot going for it when you're starting on the bass. It doesn't require you to shift and you can play in first position. Now the big challenge with G major is you're covering all four strings. So you're starting on this low G. And that is a surprisingly difficult note to sound good on the bass. If your G sounds like this, or some sort of variant <laughs> of that, it could be many things, but it's likely that you don't have a firm close on the string. And by firm, I don't mean squeezing. I just mean that your finger is nice and clean down on the string and that it's depressing the string to the fingerboard. I'm trying to do that without squeezing with my thumb and second finger. That can be a little bit of a challenge, but this is a good note to practice. And I'm just looking to see if I can get this string vibrating at the same time. If I'm out of tune, it's gonna sound like this. It's not gonna ring as well, or out of tune the other way. But when I'm right on it, you get this string ringing and it's just a uh, wonderful feeling. You can feel if it's in tune or not. Now, the rest of the scale isn't actually too bad. We just are going across the strings and then we're gonna play open G. So you start here, we transfer over to the A. And I'm trying to keep these fingers over the string when I'm not using them. I don't have to keep them like right, you know, like, like millimeters away, but I'm trying not to have any flyaway fingers. And then I'm always trying to keep a nice arch in the fingers so that the strings can resonate even if I'm, even if I'm not using that string. So right here I'm playing C. I could still pluck the D and I would be able to get it. So if you play your C, and this is very common, and you find that kind of a sound, it means that your fingers are probably a little too flat or they might be collapsing. So just make sure you're making a nice C shape between the finger and the thumb and that you've got nice strong arches for all your fingers. When I go over to the D string, I'm using all four fingers to support that fourth finger. Fourth finger's probably working the most, but third finger is supporting it as well. And these other two are on the string as well. So. Now I can lift my fingers up a little bit uh, for that open G, but I don't want to take them all the way off because I'm going to go right back down. So You just want to be as efficient as you can, no matter what you're doing on the bass. And remember, try to pull a big, warm, open sound. Think about getting that string vibrating nice and wide. And really, even though you're probably thinking about left hand, it's really all about the right hand. So focus on your right hand. Listen to some of that scale one more time. And remember, you can download this in the description below.